book. And let's begin. So there are three problem types we are looking at this week in Delta Math. And uh, I'm just going to go through all three. These are all problems that you have seen before, uh, but at least one of them you might not have seen recently. So let's start with Monday's problems. All right, so Monday's problems are all about evaluating quadratic functions. And the first problem looks like this. Uh, so I'm going to do Monday. Evaluate quadratic function. All right, so I'm reading this problem and it says, determine the value of y if x is seven. And then we have this equation down here, y equals x squared plus three. Oh, let's say I misread it because it says if x is negative seven. And this is a familiar story, right? This phrase right here, if x is negative 7, is telling you to plug in negative 7 for x. Classic. Classic. This is not the only word we use, right? We use the words plug in, but we can also use the words uh, replace. And the academic term that we're looking for here is to substitute. Negative 7 for x. So let's see what that looks like. Looking at this equation now, the y is going to remain a y. The x is going to be replaced with a negative 7 squared plus three. Now, if you've done these problems recently, you might notice what I've done here is a little weird because this negative seven should be wrapped in parentheses because we want to be clear that the negative is being squared along with everything else. What does that mean? Well, remember, Squaring something means multiplying it by itself. So the thing we are multiplying by itself is not only the seven, it's also the negative. So this is negative seven times negative seven and two negatives means the answer will be positive. So negative seven times negative seven is positive 49, positive 49. And this is important enough that I'm gonna write it down in a double thought bubble, right? A negative times another negative is always positive. Always positive. Okay, so then we keep going. Copy down the y equals negative seven squared we know is 49 plus three, easy. And then final step, y equals 49 plus three is a total of 52, right? And you should never feel like you have to do any of this math in your head, right? If I want, I can go grab my calculator and turn it on and I can check this, right? Check any of the math that I want. So I could do parentheses, negative seven times parentheses, negative seven, 49, and then plus three, 52. Notice the parentheses are important though. If you don't use the parentheses, sometimes the calculator doesn't put the negative, doesn't put the negative in the right spot. So for example, if I do negative seven squared, the calculator, I don't know if you can see it, the calculator is saying that the answer is negative 49, 
because it doesn't do the negative in the squaring, right? This is different than if I do negative seven and then square it like that, positive 49. And the positive 49 is what we want. All right. And then 49 plus three is 52. So this is our final answer. Let me type that into the computer. 52, submit, yes. Green check mark, feels good. Okay, um, so that's, that's this one. And this is the kind of problem that I wanted to show because this had the negative sign in it that we can work on in practice. So I'm going to